hello guys welcome back to my channel make sure you like this video share subscribe and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on any video i got you color depending on source about 500,000 people are estimated to be up in air at any given time if the average length of a flight is two hours that means six million people fly somewhere every day oh my god don't these figures amaze? So why are there so many people in air? Here's another fact. Savage found that flying was the safest mode of transport with just 0.07 deaths per 1 billion passenger miles. <gasps> Amidst all this fact, there's a question of do people really know what they are flying on or about it? Some just think it's a big metallic machine that flies people in it and they embark on journeys with just the hope of not crashing. Here are some facts you should know before boarding your next plane. Number one, the dirtiest place on the plane isn't the bathroom. I know you thought it was the bedroom. As it so happens, the fittest place on the plane is that tray table you are eating your meal from. According to a travel study conducted by Travel Mart, tray tables hosted 2,155 colony forming bacteria units per square inch in comparison to the button that flushes the toilet which are just 165 CFU in the same amount of space. Number two, there are thousands of planes over the United States at any moment. While you may only see occasional planes pass by overhead, that doesn't mean the sky isn't full of them. In fact, according to FAA, there are 5,000 planes in the air over the United States at any moment in any time, and there are more than 8,000 flying across the globe. Number three, takeoff and landing are the most dangerous times during a flight. According to a report from Boeing, 30% of fatal accidents occur during a flight takeoff and initial climb, or the first three minutes of a flight. However, the descent and landing or the final 8 minutes of the flight are far deadlier accounting for 48% of all fatal accidents. You needed to know this. Number 4. The safest seats on an aircraft are those at the back of the plane. Don't go and sit at the back. Oh. According to crash data compiled by time, the fatality rate for seats in the rear third of a plane during a crash was 32%, with the middle of the plane which was the least safe with 39% fatality rate while the front was marginally safer with a 38% fatality rate. Number 5. Deeming the aircraft's lights serve a purpose beyond sleep. When they see flies at night. While it's nice to imagine that the airlines are simply hoping you will get in some restful sleep, that's not exactly the truth. In fact, dimming the lights aboard a plane helps a passenger side to adjust to the dark, an essential component in helping them surviving should there be any sudden nighttime evacuation. Number 6. Plane doors can't actually open in mid-flight. While numerous people have tried to open the exterior door to an airplane mid-flight, only to find themselves arrested after doing so. Actually, doing so would be next to impossible. The interior pressure within the plane ranges from 4 to 14 psi, meaning that unless the Oak or Thanos <laughs> bothered your plane, it's unlikely that the door could be open. It's not even possible with this pressure. Number 7. Pointing a laser pointer at a plane is a serious crime. Seriously? Drive your place crazy with a laser pointer all you want, but never aim that annoying red dot at a plane. According to 18 US Code Section 39A, if you point a laser pointer at a plane or its flight path, you can end up in prison for 5 good years. <gasps> Number 8. One airline has had no fatal accidents. Despite being in business for nearly a century, seriously, Australian airline counters has never had a fatal accident, including one of its commercial aircraft. Number nine, this is really going to shock you. Pilots and co-pilots eat different meals on a flight. I knew you didn't know that. While it's only a common rule on certain airlines, Travel Plus Leisure reports that most pilots and co-pilots won't eat the same thing for dinner. This way, if the food is contaminated and one pilot gets sick, the other should still be able to operate the aircraft. Oh, thank you so much. Number 10. Traveling by plane is the safest way to get around. 
Driving by plane is extremely safe and getting safer every year. In 2017, there were zero deaths related to commercial aircraft accidents. By comparison, during the same year, 4,100 people died in car accidents in the United States alone. God. After all these facts, here are six genius ways to make your flying less miserable. You've spent months planning the perfect vacation, but the time has finally come. Your bags are all packed, and there are just a few obstacles standing between you and that white sandy beach of your dreams. An airport, tons of frustrating lines, and a 17-inch wide seat. Though you can't erase airport frustrating lines or make those airport seats any more comfortable, you can indeed develop a comprehensive strategy to making the the frequently degrading experience of air travel something you can actually enjoy and not dread number one mark your baggage as fragile it's a secret don't tell anybody don't tell anybody at the end of your flight you probably want to get out of the airport as quickly as possible and you don't have to let a checked bag slow you down or anything there are a few tricks to help you get your bags faster when you check your bag, ask to have a fragile sticker placed on your suitcase. This increases the chance of getting your bag loaded onto the plane last, which means it gets unloaded first. Hmm, think about it. Number two, dine wisely. I know some of you want to eat a bar before traveling. If you are going to eat at the airport, make the most of your meal by eating foods that will make it easier to sleep on the plane. If you aren't hungry at all, just eat bananas they are a great source of magnesium which helps relax muscles and nerves after all these facts here are six number three dress smart expert travelers have got the security processes down bad but the rest of you should take the time to come up with a standard travel uniform. You want clothes that are free of extra zippers and metals that don't wrinkle easily and shoes without laces that you can slip into and out of quickly. You know that point. Number four, stay hydrated. The air filtration system on a plane leaves the cabin with extremely dry air which can make you feel patched with itchy eyes and skin. Avoid all that discomfort by staying hydrated at the airport. Number five, this is for you. Show up early. Spending more time at the airport than absolutely necessary might sound like a total madness to you, but it's actually a great way to make your trip much more enjoyable. Rather than being rushed through security, stressing about finding your gate or winding up stuck on a plane, hungry, thirsty, or grumpy. Try to schedule so you have two hours or so before your flight departs so you can get a meal, grab some snacks, and unwind before you get into a metal tube that gets launched into the sky. Number six, take a nap. Use your layover to catch up on sleep so you don't... I don't know, so you don't get exhausted by the time you get to your destination. A good sleep mask and some airplugs can make it easier to get some z z than you might think. I know they always say the patient dog is the fattest one. And I also know some of you is still say may not die before it's time. Why can't you just be patient? Don't worry, but that's not the case here. Eh? I got you all covered. The weirdest fact about the human body that you had no idea were real. Number one, you can go longer without food than sleep. I know you always want to eat. Small breakfast you have missed, you are, you are, you are dying. Two, the acid in your stomach can dissolve razor blades. You probably don't want to test this one out, but your stomach acid is seriously strong. Number three, you produce enough saliva to fill two swimming pools in a lifetime. Kai! Kai! People have a unique spell, but identical twins have the same scent. Seriously, your environment greatly impacts how you smell, but when stripped off perfumes, 
and deodorant. It's true that identical twins have identical scents, while fraternal twins and other siblings do not. Do you have an identical twin? Go and smell this. In times of fear, you are physically stronger than normal. That's why some, some, some of you can run, can run, can run 10,000 kilometers at full speed. <laughs> when you see SARS. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. Also, make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any fact or any video I'm going to be dropping.